It's Sunday. We're at Mango's for attempt number two. Let's see how it goes. This is the vlog. It is on I Drive, diagonally across from the Orlando Eye. And there you go. So this is what it looks like in here. We're making it further now than we did last week. Okay, full disclosure time. Uh, when we arrived at Mango's, um, the ownership had comped our meal. So um, anything that you're about to see was done when the meal was comped. Because I want to do full disclosure with you guys like we normally do. Um, but having said that, it was a fantastic time, so check this out. So we are seated inside. This is what it looks like among all the copyrighted music. And I'm gonna start with the drink. Pitbull recommends the 407 Cosmo. So by the way, there is a full band that plays up top there. You can see where they're getting ready. And inside there's one bar to the left of the stage. And then you have the Mambo bar to the right of the stage. The Cosmos are delicious. How's that chocolate martini? I think the real winner though is Jesse's drink is a non-alcoholic drink. It's like strawberry and banana. And I gotta be honest, I had some of that. I wish I got that. That is unbelievable. Oh boy, they pulled up Jesse and Mary. minutes to go before the show. This place is filled up pretty considerably already. By the way, this guacamole was amazing. And we have band members taking their seats. And also, if you're looking to learn how to dance like the salsa, they have classes here on Wednesdays. Or if you're like me, that's one of my hidden talents that only this one knows about. Ladies and gentlemen, I can dance the salsa.
this is Jesse's, this is Pasta Primavera. I got a churrasco steak with chimichurri sauce, black beans, white rice, sweet plantains, looks amazing. And then Mary got Masitas this Puerto, I'm probably butchering that. It's pork with tostones and black beans and white rice. The steak is amazing. It's very much more tender than I'm used to for churrasco. Usually churrasco is a little bit more of a tougher steak, but very, very good, very moist. Jesse got a cheesecake, but look at that strawberry. And Mary got mango flan. Also with the strawberry cut up. Unfortunately, right when they're playing one of my favorite songs, but we are leaving Mango's. 
All right, so we are leaving Mangoes. That was really um, a fantastic experience. Incredible. It was really a lot of fun. What did you think, Jess? It was good. It was just good. <laughs> good on the Jesse good. meter. What's the good Jesse <laughs> meter at this point? Jesse smiled the entire time that she was in oh, there. Oh, yeah. And she was singing all the songs, even though yes. half of them were in Spanish. <laughs> so. Um, I don't think there's anything quite like that in or like mangoes in Orlando no. um, it you are sitting down it's it's almost as if like you know when you you know we have cheesy dinner shows here we have medieval times we have a pirate show well, and things also like that like, um, the old like mob one that's yeah, pretty the mob. cool though yeah show. so that's yes. a really good but show. it's it's totally not in this style mangoes I think reminds me uh, we do a lot of uh, travel for work um, a lot of uh, this has a lot of Latin flavor, like in South Florida. You know, um, mm -hmm. the churrasco was amazing, I thought, um, but um, the chimichurri sauce, maybe not my favorite chimichurri sauce. It was very heavily loaded on um, the garlic, mm -hmm. but um, I think I think it was garlic, like big chunks of it. But <laughs> um, the, the the beans and rice, it was amazing. The drinks were amazing. Oh yeah, um, chocolate martinis were awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Jesse had. Um, you know, pasta that she liked. Um, Mary's food was great. They had dessert as well. I did not have dessert. Um, How did you like the flan? Oh my God, it was unbelievable. I never had mango mixed with, you know, on top of flan, so mm. it was pretty good. And your cheesecake? It was cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing reviews yes. from a teenager. But um, dancing, you know, you can dance the whole night here. Um, the, the shows, I, I, I honestly can't imagine, um, you know, how, you know how much they could be making profit-wise from the the folks that are going to visit the establishment because there's so much that they put out there for the people that um, come to Mangoes. It, mm -hmm. It's it's amazing, just nonstop, nonstop entertainment. Um, the dancing is amazing. The guys and the girls both incredibly sexy, awesome people um, here. Fantastic dancing, the singing, DJ. yeah. There's, there's nothing bad to say about it. Otherwise, you know, other than we had a bad experience, I think last week was a hiccup um, with, between... It was also a Saturday. Um, Saturday night, Easter Saturday, the day before mm -hmm. the holiday when, when everything is jammed here and spring break. Um, and, um, you know, I don't know if it was a computer issue last week or, or the fact that it was just su super, super, you know, ridiculous. And we came on a Sunday night, um, much less of an impact here with um, dealing with crowds and stuff too but um, just an amazing place I think I drive needs more of these types of places so lately you've seen things like the Orlando Eye the sugar factory that we went to wasn't the biggest fan there but um, you know you have a, a host of different restaurants that are on I drive yeah. um, you know we went to Chewy's yesterday in the video uh, which is ironically right across the street from Mangoes, <laughs> um, and you you have Mangoes here, and it's in an entertainment complex. I mean, for the money that you're paying for your food here, um, you can't beat the entertainment that you're no. getting in addition to the food. It's Not like pennies on the dollar compared to if you were going somewhere else to just go see the sh you know go see imper Michael Jackson impersonator or and the drink prices anything. are comparable to anywhere. Around. Yeah, drink prices all ran about like ten bucks. You know, maybe Not a little mine. bit more for some other things. Jesse's non-alcoholic <laughs> drink was about six bucks. Yeah. Um, so very much in line with the places that you'd visit in on uh, I Drive. So mm -hmm. it's a tourist area. I hope that uh, Mango succeeds because I really enjoyed it. I know that I'll be back. Um, it may not be for all of the theme park crowd that comes here, but I think we, you know, Orlando, um, and I, this is something, you know, I, Mary and I discussed during dinner, um, Central Florida area is like, I believe number one in the nation for um, Puerto Rican and Latin um, migration or immigration uh, in the country. Mm -hmm. So. This is a really great flavor of um, the culture that's being represented in Orlando uh, at this point. So, and they even have uh, the different um, sets. They have Colombia, they have Puerto Rico, they have all the different, you know, um, denominations in dance and stuff. So it's really cool. I thought so. I thought it was awesome. So that's our review. I'm going to go home. Hey, I'm back home. By the way, in case you're wondering, Mangoes has Wi-Fi, so I was able to watch WrestleMania off the side of the table every so often, at least just check in and see what's going on. I'm going to watch the main event now on TV, and then watch Walking Dead. So, on that note, thank you for all of your likes, thank you for your comments, thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.